The Gurung tribe makes its home in a deep valley at the foot of the southern face of the Annapurna peaks. There are no roads here and no pretensions. The villages are connected only by footpaths. Nobody knows the origin of this tribe. They have East Asian features and have earned a well-deserved fame as warriors. Traditionally, they've grown their food, but deforestation has so impoverished the land that they've had to take up some older ways in order to survive. I'm going to learn to build a flexible ladder to collect wild honey. We're at the cliff of 300 beehives. I'm not sure which I prefer. The first harvest is after the full moon in May. Each member of the group has a task that's been passed down from father to son. Only nine people can collect the honey. It's an inherited right, but a dangerous task. Once the ladder is lowered down the cliff, a handful of burning leaves is put in place. This is essential. The rising smoke will drive the bees away from the honeycomb. Let's get to work. His only protection is a mosquito veil over his head. Once he's directly in front of the colonies, he begins to work with a long pole. In the meantime, the helpers remain as still as statues. With his pole, he stabilizes two ropes dropped down from above in order to catch the honeycomb and prevent it from falling to the river below. With a blade on the end of the pole, he carefully cuts off the upper part of the comb, which contains larvae and wax. Once the comb is divided, the honey must be collected. This is not easy. A basket is placed under the part of the comb that's still attached to the cliff wall. Now he has almost all the honey. A good colony contains between 100 and 150 pounds of rich honey. Mission accomplished. And after such a dangerous operation, it's time to taste the honey.